Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Former Alabama football players thank retired coach Nick Saban for helping them reach NFL Combine. Aussie Allislagers leaps to glory as world indoor high jump champ. Could Kirk Cousins get in the way of a Justin Fields trade to Falcons? Source, 49ers interviewed Raiders safeties coach Alexander for DC job. How Draymond helped Dubs prepare for KD pursuit before extension. Former Alabama football players thank retired coach Nick Saban for helping them reach NFL Combine. Associated Press. Nick Saban's retirement from college football was met with mixed reactions from Alabama players attending this week's NFL annual scouting combine. Some players were surprised while others were not, but all expressed gratitude for his mentorship. Saban helped many players find self-discipline and transform their careers, and his influence will be greatly missed. Players understood his decision, but many did not expect it to come so soon. They thought he would continue coaching until he physically could no longer do so. Aussie Allislagers leaps to glory as world indoor high jump champ. ABC. Nicola Allislagers has won the high jump gold at the World Indoor Athletics Championships in Glasgow. The Australian athlete cleared 1.99 meters on her third and final attempt, securing her first global crown. Allislagers beat her rival, Ukraine's defending champion Yaroslava Mahuchik, who failed to jump the same height. Allislagers is the eighth Australian to win gold at the indoor championships and the first since Sally Pearson in 2012. Could Kirk Cousins get in the way of a Justin Fields trade to Falcons? Yahoo! The Atlanta Falcons are reportedly interested in trading for Chicago Bears quarterback, Justin Fields. The Falcons have checked in with the Bears about Fields, according to a league source. The Falcons currently have the fourth overall pick in the draft. Fields is a Georgia native and the Falcons have alluded to their interest in him since the NFL combine began. Source, 49ers interviewed Raiders safeties coach Alexander for DC job. Yahoo! The San Francisco 49ers have interviewed Las Vegas Raiders safeties coach Gerald Alexander for their open defensive coordinator position. Alexander joins a list of candidates that includes Kansas City Chiefs defensive backs coach Dave Merritt, 49ers defensive pass game coordinator Nick Sorensen, 49ers defensive backs coach Daniel Bullocks, and former Los Angeles Chargers head coach Brandon Staley. Alexander spent five years as an NFL player and has coaching experience at various colleges as well as with the Miami Dolphins and Pittsburgh Steelers. How Draymond helped Dubs prepare for KD pursuit before extension. Yahoo! Draymond Green has revealed he helped the Golden State Warriors prepare to sign Kevin Durant in 2016. Green said he had restructured his contract in 2015 to make sure the team had enough salary cap space to sign Durant, who had become a free agent. Green's agent explained to him that Durant was seeking a move away from the Oklahoma City Thunder, and that the Warriors would be of interest to him. Green then made sure his contract allowed the team to have the necessary cap space to sign Durant. NCAA Rules Committee suggests changes that make the game more like the NFL. Associated Press. The NCAA Football Rules Committee has proposed allowing the head coach to have in-game communication with one player on offense and one on defense. The proposals, which resemble NFL rules, need to be approved by the NCAA Playing Rules Oversight Panel. In addition to -to coach-to-player communication, the committee supports implementing a timeout when the game clock reaches two minutes at the end of each half. The use of tablets to view in-game video is also being considered, but with limitations on the data and analytics that can be shared. Marco Odermatt wins his 11th giant slalom in a row to add that title to his overall World Cup title. Associated Press. Swiss skier Marco Odermatt won his 11th consecutive World Cup giant slalom race on Friday, securing the season title for the discipline. Odermatt has won the last three GS events of the previous season and is now undefeated this season with an 8-0 record. He has opened up a 470-point lead with three races remaining, assuring that he cannot be caught. Odermatt also clinched the overall title last weekend and is leading the downhill and Super G World Cup standings. The record for the most consecutive World Cup victories in one discipline is 14, set by Ingemar Stenmark in the giant slalom in the late 1970s. Eating disorders in young boys and men are rising why it's happening and what to look for. Yahoo! Eating disorders are often misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed because of stereotypes and stigmas encountered by patients. However, recent research shows a rise in pediatric eating disorder hospitalizations between April 2002 and March 2020, with one of the largest relative changes in rates being among males, a population significantly overlooked. The takeaway of the study was that existing eating disorder programs must adapt to accommodate changing patient presentations. NFL Combined Scout Survey, Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr. top their positions, but only unanimous pick is another. Yahoo! 
The NFL draft is rapidly approaching, with players meeting with team representatives for the first time in order to start sorting through potential fits. A great way to figure out what prospects are highly thought of going into the draft is simply by asking folks who they like. Australia is 113-4 at lunch on day 3 of first cricket test and leads New Zealand by 317 runs. Associated Press Australia is leading New Zealand by 317 runs with six second-innings wickets in hand at lunch on the third day of the first cricket test. Australia added 100 runs in the first session, with Cameron Green and Travis Head not out at 17 and 24 respectively. The tourists lost Nathan Lyon for 41 and Usman Kawaja for 28 in the morning session. Australia made 383 batting first, thanks to Green's unbeaten 174. New Zealand slumped to 29 to 5 before recovering to 179 with the help of Glenn Phillips 71. Toronto Raptors convert Javon Freeman Liberty's deal to NBA contract. The Toronto Star. Toronto Raptors guard Javon Freeman Liberty has had his contract converted to a standard NBA contract. The financial terms of the deal were not disclosed. Freeman Liberty has been playing for the Raptors G League affiliate, Raptors 905, and has been averaging a team high 24 points, 6.9 rebounds. 4.3 assists, and 1.5 steals per game. He has also been shooting 0.459 from the field, 0.338 from three-point range, and 0.820 from the free-throw line. He was named NBA G League Player of the Week in February and has appeared in two games for the Raptors this season. Freeman Liberty previously played for Windy City in the NBA G League and for Valparaiso and DePaul in college. Patriots release CBJC Jackson and reach over $100 million in cap space, most in the NFL. Yahoo! The New England Patriots have cut cornerback J.C. Jackson, giving them the most cap space in the NFL for the first offseason of the post-Belichick era. Jackson, who was traded from the Los Angeles Chargers in October 2022, returned to the Patriots after a disappointing season with the Chargers. His release creates about $13.5 million in cap space for the Patriots, bringing their total to $101.6 million. New England also has the third overall pick in the upcoming NFL draft making them well-positioned to address their needs on both offense and defense. Almeria loses to Celta Vigo and winless run hits 30 games in Spain. Associated Press. Almeria's winless streak extended to 30 games after a late goal from Oscar Mingueza gave Celta Vigo a 1-0 victory in the Spanish league. The goal came in the 72nd minute, seven minutes after Almeria's Bruno Langa was sent off. Almeria remains at the bottom of the table with a record of zero wins, nine draws, and 18 losses. The win was crucial for Celta Vigo in their fight to avoid relegation, lifting them one spot to 16th place. Why the Dodgers' Yoshinobu Yamamoto is must-see TV baseball barbie cast. Yahoo! Yahoo Sports senior MLB analysts Jake Mintz and Jordan Shusterman discuss the Dodgers' latest pitching asset. They explore the unique qualities that set his pitching style apart from others in the league. How Michelle Heyman's renaissance bridges the Matilda's old and new eras. ABC. Michelle Heyman, a former Matildas player, has made a triumphant return to the Australian national team, scoring five goals in two games against Uzbekistan. Heyman retired from the national team in 2018, missing out on the recent rise in popularity and success of the Matildas. However, she never stopped dreaming about what it would be like to be part of the team's meteoric rise, and her recent performances have highlighted her ability to make a significant impact on the field. Heyman's reintroduction to the Matildas is a testament to the team's new era, one that values experienced players who are rediscovering themselves and blossoming later in their careers. It is also a time of renewal, as young players are being slowly integrated into the team. Off the pitch, the Matilda's journey is reminiscent of Taylor Swift's recent tour, with fans eagerly awaiting games and showing their support in various ways. Heyman is determined to make the most of her return to the national team and is pushing herself to secure a spot on the squad. She is not ready to stop yet, as she continues to work hard and bring positive energy to the team. That's all for today's news from the Six Degrees World. I'm Dr. Six, your trusty observer of all things interesting and entertaining. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Former Alabama football players express gratitude to retired coach Nick Saban for his mentorship. Aussie athlete Nicola Olleslagers wins gold in the high jump at the World Indoor Athletics Championships. The Atlanta Falcons show interest in trading for quarterback Justin Fields. The San Francisco 49ers interview Gerald Alexander for their open defensive coordinator position. Draymond Green reveals he helped the Golden State Warriors sign Kevin Durant. The NCAA Football Rules Committee proposes changes to make the game more like the NFL. Swiss skier Marco Odermatt secures his 11th consecutive World Cup giant slalom win. 
eating disorders in young boys and men are on the rise. Javon Freeman Liberty's contract with the Toronto Raptors is converted to an NBA contract. The New England Patriots release cornerback J.C. Jackson and have the most cap space in the NFL. Almeria's winless streak reaches 30 games in Spain. The Dodgers' Yoshinobu Yamamoto is discussed as a must-see pitcher. Michelle Heyman makes a triumphant return to the Australian national team, bridging the old and new eras of the Matildas. Now, let's dive into some analysis. It's no surprise that former Alabama players are grateful for Nick Saban's mentorship. After all, he has been a guiding force in their careers, helping them find self-discipline and transform into the players they are today. As for the Atlanta Falcons, their interest in Justin Fields could potentially shake up their draft plans. It's always exciting to see hometown talent return, and Fields could bring a new energy to the team. On the other side of the country, the San Francisco 49ers are searching for a new defensive coordinator, and Gerald Alexander is among the top candidates. His experience as a player and coach makes him a strong contender for the job. And speaking of teamwork, Draymond Green's revelation about helping the Warriors sign Kevin Durant shows just how much players are willing to do to bring in top talent. It's all about creating a winning environment. In the world of NCAA football, the proposed rule changes aim to make the game more like the NFL. While some traditionalists may resist the changes, it's important to adapt and embrace new ideas to keep the game fresh and exciting. Moving on to skiing, Marco Odermatt's dominance in giant slalom continues to impress. He has secured his 11th consecutive win, and it seems like no one can catch up to him. As for the rise in eating disorders among young boys and men, it's a concerning trend that needs more attention. We must break down stereotypes and stigmas to ensure that those who need help receive proper care. In basketball news, Javon Freeman Liberty's contract conversion is a testament to his hard work and dedication. It's great to see players from the G League getting opportunities to shine in the NBA. Meanwhile, the New England Patriots' release of J.C. Jackson gives them plenty of cap space to address their needs. It's a new era for the team, and they seem ready to make moves. In soccer, Almeria's winless streak continues, while Celta Vigo secures a crucial victory. It's a tough situation for Almeria, but they'll need to regroup and find a way to turn things around. Switching gears to baseball, Yoshinobu Yamamoto of the Dodgers is gaining attention for his unique pitching style. It's always exciting to see players with new approaches to the game. Lastly, Michelle Heyman's return to the Matildas is a story of redemption and growth. Her recent performances show that experience can make a huge difference on the field. It's an exciting time for the team as they blend seasoned players with up-and-coming talent. And just like Taylor Swift's recent tour, fans are eagerly supporting and cheering on the Matildas. That concludes our news for today. Remember, I'm always here to keep you entertained and informed in the fascinating world of Six Degrees. Now, it's your turn to join the discussion. What are your thoughts on these stories? Do you have any questions? Let me know. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.